Boulder, Colorado, one of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of Buffaloes roaming here. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the South Carolina Gamecocks, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Buffaloes will kick it away to start us off. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Offense getting set for first down. They'll leave it with him. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Dropping back, it's Sellers. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. On fourth down, going to the air. He's got it on the left. Oh, look out. There he goes. Running free, going to the end zone, but way back behind him, there's a flag on the field. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they get it in with a huge play, an 80-yard touchdown pass. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Looking for a productive play on first down. Movement here from the tight end. Gonna run it. It's Hayden. Step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. After that big gain, it opened things up. They'll put it in play from the 40. To the ground. He's got it again. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He has got incredible speed. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. Quickly to the tight end. On the move at the 30. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. They'll put the tight end in motion. The give to the back. And he's loose and he'll take it 
to the house. Touchdown, Buffalo! That running back just had a caravan of blockers to take him into the end zone. There's not very many times at home, Reese, where I'm gonna say that everybody watching on their couch could have scored on that play. This is one of them. And the extra point was good as they finished the drive. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Every he wants to take the top off. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. Long incompletions, okay. We got to take shots. You got to make big plays in college football. I love that you're taking shots. Keep taking them. Some of those are going to come home. Some of them aren't. But when they come home, they equal big time points. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Now facing a third and long. Back to throw, it's Sellers. Fires to the wideout. Connection to the right. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. And they'll get enough for the first down, and that's how things will come to a close here in the first quarter. On the play. That's a first down for the offense. That's the end of the first quarter. The score tied seven to seven. And the Gamecocks are rolling down the field. He's going to pass. Good timing on the quick out. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. That last completion sets him up on second down. The play action fake. Throws to the wide out. Into double coverage, and he picked it off. He'll try to take it back. And after the interception, he brings it back and gets it inside the 35. So equals eyes. When I say that, DBs, linebackers, all covering the middle of the field. So many guys over the middle of the field trying to take away the easy stuff, but reading the quarterback's eyes the whole time. Whenever he breaks to throw that football and that hand separates from the ball, I'm breaking on it. You could tell they had a beat on it. Nice cut, nice instincts. Give me that INT. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Sweet beat on the move. And he's headed to the end zone. And to the house. Touchdown, Bucks. Man, find your weapons. Nice job by the quarterback. Finally running back out of the backfield. He catches it and does the rest. Walks into the end zone for the touchdown. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. Here he comes with the return. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. 
The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. Scanning the field, it's Sellers. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. If they're going to sit back in zone, I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. Now across the 50 and at the 48-yard line, they'll have it first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Grabbed behind the line, it's Harbor. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space and you throw this route really when it's off cut. You can tell the cornerback is up, ready to come, counts on that screen, and get the tackle for this. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Complete to the right. Really nice job to convert that third down and they've got it at the 33. Hey, the defense knew coming into this one this guy was going to be a factor, but they have done nothing to stop him. They don't have any answers. This guy already has over 100 yards receiving, and we're not even done the half. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Man, this quarterback is having a first half. He's over 200 yards already. Heating up, setting up. Dude, this dude might break his career high in passing. I don't know what it is. Somebody gets down. Touchdown, Gamecocks. What a grab and go for the score. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. So they got the touchdown, now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. From inside his own 15, looking for room. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be a oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And that pass is intercepted. They bring him down, but that great defensive play might be overturned. Let's see what the call is. A costly penalty for this defense gives him a first and ten. The give to the tailback. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. To the air, it's Sanders. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Quarterback checking off. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Hayden. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Little touch pass to the receiver. 
Each brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. And in the final seconds of the first half, they'll send out the field goal unit. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. Oh, he missed it. No good. And guys, after the miss, the lead is still one. I guess they're trying to send a message to start this second half, lined up for an onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Well, they're trying to pounce on their opponent with the lead in the second half, trying to steal a possession, but give the return team credit. They may not have been set up perfectly for that onside kick, but they're Johnny on the spot, and now their offense is licking their chops, hoping to go down and score. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. To the air, it's Sanders. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Snagged in the middle. It's Hayden. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. fourth down trying to find his man and it's incomplete in the defense Tall and gets off the field. And they decide to go for it. They decide to be aggressive, try to throw the football down the field. Receiver, quarterback, not on the same page. No dice, turnover on downs. And he intercepts it. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Not all guys have the ability to, to break on the football, go make a play and catching. You know, you play defense for a reason. A lot of the wide receivers are the ones that do most of the catching. Great job by the defense securing the INT. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Here's the handoff. And this one will be stopped for no gain. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. On second down, he's looking downfield. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long, different ways to affect him, weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. That's why the ball falls incomplete. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. 
He's got it. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And the Buffaloes have it with a first and ten. Takes a handoff. It's Hayden. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. Operating in the red zone here on second down. White 53. White 53. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Touchdown, Colorado! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. Fielded in the end zone, it's McDowell. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Oh, what vision. Can they catch him? He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, South Carolina. No guts, no glory. Caught it in the end zone. Didn't hesitate for a millisecond to take that thing back, and boy, did it pay off. And this is why kickoff returns are so exciting. There's so much space between you and the other team flying down the field. The only time you're going to be provided that much space. Picked off. The two-point is no good. They're lining up for the kickoff, and let's see if this return team can answer with a score of its own. Coming out with it, it's Horn. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. They built this offense around finding mismatches and just get the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it didn't have to be long down the field. Like it threw it right near the line of scrimmage. But you know I got a guy, when he gets in space, he can make big plays happen. Nice decision by the QB. Couldn't find a lane. A pickup of one to the 31. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. Running to Green. And the big game. They've got it on the 46. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right, you see that blocking and all the holes open up. That's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man. They... Hit the afterburners, kid. And after gobbling up some serious yardage and showing off those wheels, he's finally out of bounds. This offense not only has a chance to extend the lead, but they can also drain that clock. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he is stopped, not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. 
to the air. It's Sanders. Quick strike complete. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Important in the passing game that it's not just receivers doing all the work. You got to get running backs involved. You got to get your big fellas. You got to get the tight ends going, too. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Fast motion from the offense. They'll go with a direct snap. Touchdown, Buffalo! And they take it in for six more points. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. Now for the extra point try late in the game. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. So a drive there of 84 yards. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's McDowell. He gets it across the 25 to the 27 after bringing it out of the end zone. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a rhythm. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. First down here for the offense. He's looking to throw it. They've got the screen set up. At the 45 on his way. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Back to pass, it's Sellers. And the quarterback is snowed under. There's something you don't see very often. A sack on a screen pass. You know, quarterbacks are taught to hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball, and then get rid of it right before the rush gets to you, but that time, I think he just held on to it a little too long. He's looking for a man on second down. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. Green, by definition, is slow developing. That was just a little too slow. Yeah, the quarterback just held on to it a split second too long. You want to invite the rush to you as a quarterback when you're executing that play, but you've got to be able to get rid of it, and you've got to be able to negotiate the rush and somehow, someway, find a way to get that receiver or running back the ball in his hands and maybe we couldn't get it done. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Here comes the offense.